Hello class, this is your caterpillar stretching exercise. If you remember the stuff we discussed about the one finger per fret principle and how you should relax your thumb, meaning when the fingers move the thumb should stay put at the back as more of a support finger. This is one of the exercises that would help you and also help the other fingers stretch better. The instructions here would be to keep the fingers down once you put them on the fingerboard until you end with the fourth finger. If you remember how to read the tabs, again, six lines, six strings, top line is string number one and bottom line is string number six. Of course, we'll do the notation afterwards but some of you already know how to read standard notation the marks that you see here the ones that look like the, the stapler and, and the v signs are, are taken from um, bowing directions in, in this case if you're using a pick the, the stapler symbol is a down stroke and the v symbol is an upstroke or a pick stroke. If you're not using a pick, I would suggest that you just alternate between the index and middle fingers using rest strokes for the strings. And we'll start here from the fifth fret. Let's change the view a bit. Uh -huh. So starting from the fifth fret, you use the first finger and then you advance slowly and evenly in eight notes. See, you keep the fingers down on the strings. That's how they learn how to stretch. And then you go all the way up. To the sixth string. Once you get to the sixth string, you continue by going one fret down and then you reverse the order of the notes instead of going up one two three four with your fingers you're going down starting from the fourth finger in this case we're already on fret number seven six five four and it goes like this should have to let go of the fingers because you're starting with the higher finger first and the pitch needs to go lower and then it says here with your instructions is that you continue until the first fret let's uh, get a better view now if I'm using the pick it's gonna be down and up I'll show you that also one other thing to remember is you make sure that the thumb follows the fingers as you're going up and down the neck or across the neck when you're ascending or descending. So let's say I'm starting again on the fifth fret but I'm using uh, the pick and I just go down and up alternate picking. This is going to be your assignment. Of course, you'd have to take a video of yourself with your hands seen doing the short exercise. Ideally, you'd be able to reach up to the first fret, but let's see how far you can go. All right, have questions? Just 
ask your teacher. Okay, see you.